Hi, in fact, this is Yuki Bambri. Uh. Uh, usually my day consists of playing tennis, um, spending some time in the gym, and it takes up about uh, six to seven hours. We train, I train two hours in the morning of tennis, two hours in the evening, and I have at least an hour of gym session in the morning, and sometimes an hour of running as well. So six to seven hours is an average day of, of how much time I take to train. Obviously, a lot of things go into making a good tennis academy. Um, good infrastructure, good, good courts, most importantly, um, good coaches, which obviously where you can help the students train better and of course, sometimes even good students but um, at Impact, it's, it's been uh, very good. I've, I've been here mainly because of Steve, because he's been wonderful. Um, the coaches have been great, you know, with assistants, with Carlos and Skinny, helping out as much, as much as they can. So in all, it's been a good combination for me to be here at Impact Training. I think when you're playing the juniors, everyone is still growing up. You're still understanding a lot of things about tennis. You're playing people your own age group, you're playing people 18 under, but when it comes to professional tennis, when it comes to men's tennis, you're competing against everyone in the age group. You're competing against 18 year olds, you're competing against 25 year olds. A lot of it has to do with, with how physical tennis has become. So you have to be very strong, you have to be very fast, you have to be able to play consistently a lot of tournaments and year after year you have to be motivated and consistent on the tennis court. Uh. Yeah. Uh. To try and get better, that's the most important, to try and learn every day. That's what practice is about. It's just like going out uh, at a test, you know, matches. When you go into match, you want to be focused, you want to be prepared, and that's where, where practice helps in. You practice everything that you can, you keep improving on, this, on the stuff that you've already improved, and you keep working on your weaknesses. So that's the key to practice, you try and improve every single day. I think first of all, it's important to understand if they want to pursue it by because tennis is such a hard sport and you have to be disciplined, you have to be hard working. If you're willing to do that, if you're willing to enjoy the grind of being able to do that, then it's, then it's a career for you. I think at a, once you're 17 or 18 and you play the juniors, if you are doing well on the tour, it's a good, it's a good progression to move on. Otherwise, of course, there's also you know, college tennis where you have a couple of years that you can still get an education, you can get a college degree and keep continuing to improve tennis. So there is no age limit. There is you know, only if you're motivated to work hard and to really be focused and willing to put in all the hard work. I think tennis is a sport for you. The most important obviously has to be if the coach can help you improve, if you're understanding, if you understand what he is, you're in sync with how you want to go about things, if you're willing to listen to him because the coach is eventually is the one who's going to help you, guide you and, and help you improve. So that's the most important aspect is, is to understand what he is, to be in sync of, of how you guys are going to improve on and, and to you know, have that trust. Everyone faces pressure, you know, if you, whether it's the first round or the finals, there's always pressure. If there isn't pressure, then you're, you know, then there's, there's something all right. So I think I, I, I tend to perform better. I look at it as an opportunity to, to fight through it. Um, I trust myself and I, and I believe in my ability. That's how I get, get through it and that's how I go and, and play my matches.
because tennis consists of so many points, so many games, and there are so many opportunities, it is important to focus on the next point, whether you win or lose. That's why we have routines. I try and utilize the 20 seconds that I have between points you know, to focus on what I want to do next, to try and think if I've made a mistake, to try and make sure I don't repeat it and just have in the back of my mind. For me, a lot of it has to, to do with also having uh, good players to play with Over here, especially at, during the camp, because there's so many top players, uh, top 25, top 50, top 100 players. So it's, it's a great opportunity for me to not just learn and improve by playing with them, but also see where my level is at. Where in India, th there aren't that many top level players to play with. So in all in all, it just makes it a lot better to come here, come at impact with also good facilities and a good bunch of players to come and train with. Very, very, very important. I don't think I would have achieved as much as I have today without the role, without the support of my parents, my family. I think um, they've been very encouraging, very supportive of, of what I want to do. My mum had also travelled with me quite a lot when I was younger. Both my sisters played tennis and they still guide me on, on how to play. Sometimes they watch my matches and they always have ideas, always try and you know, make sure uh, that I'm improving, that I'm doing well. So, you know, they've been very, very encouraging and very supportive. Work. If you come to Impact, come here to work hard. I think they'll, you know, they're very honest coaches. They will tell you what you need to work on, what you need to improve on, and they'll give it to you straight. So come here with an open mind, come here to improve, come here to work hard, and there is no question that you will improve and you will be a better player when you leave from here. It's been fun. Uh, it's been, um, you know, we've had a, we had a good start to the year. It's very encouraging results, and having someone like Steve who reads the game well, who has also seen me play from a very young age, understands what I go through as well of, of how my game stands against other players. I think it's been very, very good for me. We've not just worked on strategies which have which have helped against opponents, but we've also worked during tournaments on my on my game on how to improve some of my shots, some of my gameplay. So that has been very, very helpful. I haven't had to go back on the, on the training court and waste that sort of time where I need to improve my strokes. I've been able to do it during tournaments, which has helped me get better each and each week. Well, both are the same. I think the, the pros of obviously being a, a professional tennis player is that, that for everyone that is there, I think you you know you enjoy playing. I enjoy playing the sport, so I get to do I get to do the one thing I love. It's not just work for me; it's a lot of fun. I've got to see a lot of countries, which I don't think I would have. I wouldn't have been able to travel to so many nice places. I've made such such amazing. I've met such amazing people. I've made friends from all over the world, um, and it's and it's good. It's been a good learning experience as well, which I can take forward hopefully. Um, in life, and of course, some of the some of the cons are that you're away from home for quite a long time. You travel week in, week out. You, you know, live in a lot of hotels, so you miss a little bit of the home. But it's a short, you know, it's a short life that you have as, as a short career as a as a professional athlete. So I'm trying to enjoy and trying to experience it as much as I can. My sisters have definitely helped. They've played a, a, a very big role because they've been former professional tennis players. So they've always guided me um, through various stages of my life, through my career. Even today, if they watch my matches, you know, they always they always guide me and, 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 and help me improve. If they see something, they point out, you know, about my strengths and weaknesses during the court. So those are the two people apart from obviously Steve and, and, and Skinny and other coaches over, over time who've helped me uh, train. To, to get 
to get better, to get healthy, to, to obviously get the rankings up, to play some of the important event as well, to play the slams and, um, and to improve day by day. Swadi Cup, I'm Yuki, I'm from India, you're in